Okay, so I took pictures, but it's probably easier if I just send a video because that kind of explains everything. This is the front of the binder system. Um, check their schedule and then the child moves it over to finished when they're done. You can chunk it down as much or as little as you want. Um, inside the binder, I have um, all of the kind of pieces for different classes. Like you can chunk it down to cut, glue, color. Um, sometimes I like to take pictures of the student's actual work area or the staff in the room. Um, you know, bus, take a break, snack, different encores. These are just uh, laminated pieces of file folder. Um, so there's room to add as you need it. Um, back here on the back of the binder is the token system. Now this is set up um, that it can either be time-based or task-based, and it's basically your learning behaviors. You're gonna have stay in seat, safe hands and feet, look at teacher, quiet work. You can change those however you want. I have templates for three, four, or five tokens I am working for. They get to pick their reward. If you go here to the back of the binder on the inside cover, there's time increments. So they can either work two minutes per token, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. If they're a rock star, 15 minutes. I have different tokens. This one is just a generic good work, um, but I have ones that are trolls, Spider-Man, cars, minions, Big Hero 6, baseballs. Um, I, you can basically customize that however you want. And then over here on this page in the binder are the different reinforcers. You know, if a child likes to read, they can go to Book Nook, Puzzle, play with a truck, some of them are food motivated, maybe they like stickers, things like that. So the student would come back here and say, I am working for oops, truck. And let's say he's he or she is at about five minutes. So you're going to set a timer. And for every five minutes that they do these things, you give, okay, give yourself a token. And they come back here and they take their token and they put it on. If, let's say during that five minutes, they get up and get out of their seat, you can either stop the timer and say, okay, I need to stop the timer. Or for a little bit higher functioning kid, I would say, okay, well, I need to restart the timer. We need to start over. You got up out of your seat, that kind of thing. Um, this is all absolutely customizable to what you need for your scenario. I do have token systems and token boards by themselves. Let me see if I have one. Um, just in a file folder, not in a work system in the binder. This one is a four, but same kind of setup, you know, time. And obviously I haven't put in what the learning behaviors are for this one. This is basically just a blank shell. Um, all of this stuff is on the shared, um, Board maker online under JW Creations. So feel free to get in there and take a look and see if there's anything that you like or want to use. And um, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.